Basic Science at Over Kids Link TV. Hi kids, my name is Bibi. On today's episode of Basic Science at Over Kids Link TV, we are going to discuss about plants and animals in an ecosystem. Let's start. This is our topic outline. Introduction to plants and animals. Definition of plants. Different types of plants. A well-labeled diagram of a typical plant. Functions of each part of the plant. Definition of animal. Types of animals and their examples. Differences between plants and animals. Introduction to plants and animals. As plants grow, they become a food source for animals and other organisms. The sugar produced through photosynthesis provides plants with the energy to survive, grow, and reproduce. There are over 400,000 species of plants currently on us. A majority of them produce flowers and fruit for reproduction. Ecosystem An ecosystem is a community of living organisms in conjunction with the non-living components of their environment, interacting together as a system. Plant What is a plant? A plant is a living organism that consists of trees, shrubs, grasses, leaves, mainly growing in the permanent site, absorbing water through its roots, using green pigment to produce nutrients. It is a living thing that grows on the earth or in water and has stem, leaves and roots. Types of plants of the plants we have. One, annual plant. They are plants that live for a year or less. They complete their life cycle from germination to reproduction of seeds within one growing season and then die. E.g. Maize, Cassava, Marigolds, Cosmos and Straw Flowers. Biennial plants. They are plants that live for two years. Examples are vegetables like spinach. Fennel and lettuce are biennials. Three perennial plants. They are plants that live longer and more than two years. Examples are cocoa tree, mango tree, orange tree, cornflowers and so on. Part and diagram of a plant. Kids. The part and diagram of a plant consists of the root, the stem, the fruit, the flower, the leaf, and the bud. The three main parts of a plant are the root, the leaves. And the stem. Others are the flowers, seeds, and fruits. Functions of parts of a plant. The root. It absorbs water and minerals from the soil and store extra food. The stem. It supports the plant carrying water and nutrients from the root and leaves to the other parts of the plant. The leaf. It takes sunlight which makes food through photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a process whereby green plant produces its food using light energy, chlorophyll and water. The flowers. They are the reproductive parts of the plant. They contain pollen and egg ovules. The fruits. They provide a cover for seeds. Fruit can be fleshy, e.g. a 
apple or hard like nut. The seed. It contains new plants and always forms in the fruit. Break time! Welcome back kids! Animals, what is an animal? Animals are living organisms which feed on organic matter. They can breathe, move, reproduce and mortile. Types of animals! Friends, there are two major categories of animals. They are one, vertebrate animals and two, invertebrate animals. Vertebrate animals are animals with backbone and skeleton. The vertebrate animals are further divided into five categories. Fish examples are tilapia, catfish, and shark. Amphibians, they are toads, frogs, and salamanders. Reptiles, examples are snake, lizard, turtles, crocodile, and geckos. Birds, some of them are owl, parrots, penguins, and sparrow. Mammals. These are examples of mammals. Lion, deer, elephant, rabbit, and humans. Invertebrate animals. They are animals without backbone and skeleton. Examples are insects, worms, octopus, amoeba, and so on. Difference between plants and animals. The following are the major differences between plants and animals. Plants are rooted in one place and cannot move. Well, animals can move from one place to another. Plants contain chlorophyll and can make their own food. Well, animals cannot make their own food and depends on plants and other animals to survive. Plants have cell wall, while animals' cells don't have cell wall. Plants have no sense, while animals have sense of reasoning and can see. Plants give off oxygen and take in carbon dioxide, while animals give off carbon dioxide and take in oxygen. Heat! It is very important to take note of the following. 1. The study of life and living things is called biology, and scientists who study biology are known as biologists. The main branches of biology are zoology. The study of animals, botany, the study of plants, and microbiology, the study of tiny organisms. 2. Botany, also called plant science, plant biology, or phytology, is the science of plant life. A botanist is a scientist who specializes in studying plants. Three, zoology, is the study of animals and their behavior. While zoologist is the person who studies animals and their interactions with ecosystems. They study their physical characteristics, diets, behavior, and the impact humans have on them. Kid, hope you enjoy our topic for today. On basic science at Obaki Dream TV. If you really enjoyed our topic, kindly subscribe to our channel for another interesting episode of Basic Science. Subscribe to Obaki Dream TV on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram.